Hi, I'm Chris Ferrer from Teen V. Every week we showcase ordinary people with extraordinary talent from all over the Capital Region. Today we have the talented Dave Cox with us from Troy, New York. Dave has been performing his comedy routine since the early 1990s. His talent has been showcased on shows such as The Late Show with David Letterman and The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Thanks for being here with us today, Dave. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's start. When did you first decide that you wanted to be a performer? Um, I guess I first realized I wanted to be a performer the first time someone actually paid me to be a performer. I had learned to juggle and uh, someone asked me to perform at like some little party they were having and they paid me like a hundred bucks and I like I was just like wow I just got paid to pretty much just do nothing but juggle and mm -hmm. um, it wasn't long after that that I realized that nobody really cares about juggling they want to be entertained <laughs> yeah so that's when I really tried to uh, work towards um, being original and I guess I, it just turned into comedy. Like. Mm -hmm. So how do you come up with these original ideas for your shows? Um, I, I think and think and think and think and then one comes to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I was driving in the car when I, when I thought of the idea of the toilet paper tightrope mm -hmm. and um, I, uh, I thought to myself it's got to work like it's just you know how many strands is it going to take is it going to be you know, 6,000 rolls that'll right. support my weight, or, you know, is it a reasonable amount? So I went home and I tried it and it didn't work. So I kept working at it until eventually I figured out a way to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So so how many hours does it take to perfect something like that? Um, I mean, the, the, something like the toilet paper tightrope, it's taken me years to work on as far as technically, like just the mechanics of it. Right. Like I'm constantly changing it and trying to make it better and make mm -hmm. it more flawless in the show is so I have less technical problems um, as far as like juggling skills that the time it takes to learn something is varies from a day to years and years right. because of the difficulty level so yeah um, so what do you do if a stunt like the toilet paper tightrope doesn't work out when you're on stage performing it um, well there's a usually it works out all right because I, uh, my show is basically a comedy show and it's me just up on stage. So if something goes wrong, just laugh I'm, it off. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. comfortable with it and the audience is comfortable with it. They usually know something might go wrong anyways. Mm -hmm. because <laughs> um, I have had the toilet paper rope break during shows. Really? I mean, it's not great. Yeah. It it's, um, definitely makes the show a lot different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I, I usually always recover. Um, sometimes it takes a little more time to recover mentally than uh, physically, if, if you get injured, like yeah. I've, I've definitely gotten hurt on stage on stage physically. So, really, um, breaking my ribs, riding a unicycle, and stuff like that, getting cut with knives, and so yeah. audiences like dangerous. to see blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous performance. All right, so we know that you were on late night television. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that experience? Um, the first show I was on was the Letterman show, and I sent them a tape. And I didn't hear from them for five or six months, probably. And I had forgotten about it and thought that it was just not going to happen. Right. And I was actually across the country in Reno, Nevada, at a um, a performer's like workshop type thing. I was working out there at that. And uh, I got the call at the beginning of the week. And they're like, we want you on Friday. And I was like, Friday? That's like a couple days. Yeah. Like, I just <laughs> drove across the country. So yeah. they're like, that's all right. We'll fly out. That's fine. So. You know, I got on the plane and then I'm looking out the window watching all the roads that I just drove all the way across the country on. And, <laughs> um, thinking that this is just crazy. Like, I just, like, just got there. <laughs> now yeah. I'm flying back. And now I did the show. And, it, I mean, the show was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, the studio is really cold, if, <laughs> if anyone ever asked you that question, um, which made it difficult for me. I did what the, my shirt trick where I juggle three balls and take off my shirt. Mm -hmm. um, and that was it. And then I, I flew back, and uh, and then I drove back to New York. <laughs> um, and then the next show was uh, the Leno show. Flew out, uh, did the show. That show was great. I mean, Jay Leno was he was a great guy, really down to earth. I met him in the stairwell. He set all of his stuff down just to shake my hand and say yeah. hi to me. And 
he talked to me quite a bit, and then, you know, he, he talked to me before the show, like, a, a f several times, and mm -hmm. seemed genuinely, genuinely interested in other people. Right. And Which one did you like better being on? What show did you like better? The Leno show was, yeah. was far better as far as, like, being more relaxed. Right. They just, you showed up, and they let you do whatever you want, and everyone mm -hmm. had their own green room. They had plenty of food for you, and, um, and it was just a fun set to be on. And I went out, did my trick, and uh, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So from reading your website, you have this top secret project going on involving magnets. Why don't you quickly yeah. tell us about that <laughs> a little bit? That's um, the, uh, the Magnetron, or Magatron for short, is, uh, is this idea I have in my head that's, it's another original idea that um, I, uh, I hopefully someday will build. It's gonna be yeah. a pretty big apparatus um, but it's it's basically going to be a form of juggling. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say too much about it. All so, right, but it's it'll be when, when can we? Oh, um, oh, it'll be years. Years. Yeah. All right. But um, it it it'll, it will involve juggling and I I think also music and possibly mm -hmm. lights. Sounds yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have the time um, today. So I'd like to thank our guest, Dave Cox, for being here. Thanks you for seem me. like a really cool guy. So if you're curious to know more information about him or if you'd like to book him, visit his website at www.dangerouscomedy.com. I'm Cress Ferreira, and thanks for watching.